welcome to Nyonya Cooking. Today I'll be presenting you another Nyonya dish which is called Ayam Pongte. And this is the specialty of Nyonya and it is usually found in Malacca, the place I was born. So let me show you how to prepare this dish. I'll start with some ingredients which you all are familiar with. So I have here 250 grams of chicken, a potato, 5 cloves of garlic, 3 shallots, and if you do not have shallots, you can also use uh, one big onion. These are um, bean curds, fried bean curds, which I got it at the Asian market, and I cut it diagonally so you can see the inside. A cinnamon stick, star anise, and a very, very special ingredient, which is uh, the palm sugar. It comes like a block, a whole block like this, which is also called gula melaka. And I have already shredded it nicely over here. So you need about 2 tablespoons of gula malaka. To make the sauce, you will need the thick soy sauce, the light soy sauce, and a very special ingredient which is called tauchu or also bean paste, and 200 milliliters of water. So I was in IKEA the other day and I found this. This is actually a garlic crusher. All you need to do is put in a clove of garlic, push this down and the output will be finely crushed garlic so it saves time and it's very simple after crushing the garlic chop the shallots finely or you can use the crusher again then cut the potatoes into bite pieces and heat up some oil After 2 minutes, your kitchen will be filled with the fragrance from the onion and garlic. Then, you know it's time to add 2 tablespoons of Taochu, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, and 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Remember to stir quickly and add the chicken pieces. Stir the dish again before adding water and cook at high heat. When the dish starts boiling, it's time to add in the potato and the rest of the ingredients. To avoid the dish from sticking to the pan, stir from time to time. After 30 minutes, the gravy should be taken and that is the time where you can dish it out. But I left my dish cooking for about 1 hour because I like my potato to be softer and it's up to your preference. If you like your potato to be softer, you can let, let it cook for a little bit more longer. This dish is usually cooked with pork and is known as babi ponte. I prefer the chicken version though. Ayam ponte is best served with steaming white rice. So tell me what you think after trying this recipe and as always, happy cooking!